Just got to wonder if that elbow had been hurting Ben all day long and, and just started to materialize late in that half. Third down and eight. As that pass bounced away from Moncrief and then was picked off on the deflection by Bradley McDougal. But Dante Moncrief must catch the ball. Four drops last week, and now he lets that. This is for the tie. Two-point conversion attempt. Rudolph looking. Now he throws, and it's picked off. Second, receiver. second down and five, and the screen pass is going to be picked off by Jadevion Clowney, and he's going to run it in for the touchdown. On the sideline. Well, welcome to Seattle, Jadavion Clowney, right there. Uh oh, look what I found here. Put my left hand out there, grabbed the football down the sideline. They traded for him. Goff throws, pass incomplete for Everett. And now you see it. What an effort by Tedrick Thompson. That's such a great job by him, keeping it alive. It sure looks to me like that ball is 23 right now. Don't panic. Instead, firing for the end zone and intercepted off the hands of the Cleveland receiver, and that's Tedrick Thompson. Thompson gets the interception, but watch Shaquille Griffin. He's the one that makes the play. He undercuts Jarvis Landry and gets contact with the football. It was just what you were saying, Darrell. They didn't milk the clock, and not only do they not run the clock down, they turn it over, and they are confirming as... Yeah, was there any contact after Tedrick Thompson made the interception was down in the end zone? I, I, I don't know. You know, you can see Jarvis Landry get up right there and say he was down. Instead, it's right at the moment spotted at the 12-yard line. It's intercepted inside the 40. He threw right into the hands of Trey Flowers. Intercepted off the hands of Hilliard and into the hands of K.J. Wright. K.J. Wright. Cleveland receivers have just not held on to the ball well today. But alertly... As the Seahawks are, the veteran K.J. Wright. It's, it's his quick little passing game to him. Three wide receivers in the game. Play fake to Freeman. That pass intercepted by Michael Kendricks. Fantastic interception for Seattle's D. Seahawks did not get a takeaway last week. They get one today. With a throw it out of it. Wentz, pressure, gets rid of it, and it's intercepted. McDougal was right there. He was trying to get it to the tight end, Goddard. And Wentz like playing too deep back there, two safeties. Here's Wentz, firing far side. It's intercepted. Trey Flowers went right to him. Garoppolo, pressure coming after him as he releases, and it's intercepted by Diggs. Quandre Diggs on the return, and the newly acquired With this deafening crowd here at Century Link. Cousins on second and ten. That ball is intercepted. That was Trey Flowers. Wow. Twenty-five. He's going to be down because he's touched. But watch the play. The ball bounces in the air. What concentration by Flowers? The runner was, the defensive interception. The runner was ruled down by Condat at the 25-yard line. He's first down. So Seattle. he's down by contact there. Clearly a catch. Legs get entangled. Down by contact. Great concentration to stay with it. Well, without a doubt. And it just goes to show you how the ball bounces funny. Early in the game, Harris gets a batted ball, turns it into a pick six. The third and ten. Opening drive of the second half. Goff throws, and it's going to be intercepted. 
That's Quandre Diggs, and that will put Seattle right back in business. Quandre Diggs, who came over in a trade with Detroit last month for 55 yards. Big loop inside. Watch him come all the way around, and just as Goff is getting ready to throw this football, he's going to get hit right in the face. And for whatever reason, it looked like Robert Woods stopped there on the route. And because of that pressure, Goff did not have time to read that one out. And here we go. Well, he's back in. Third down and five. And Goff is going to go for the distance and have that one picked off by Diggs at the three. Intended for Brandon Cooks. Yeah, you're going to see Brandon Cooks come in here to make the cut, which really gives Diggs way too much room. A former cornerback, so he knows these route combinations. They came with a double blitz. He's getting a little older, talking to his dad early on the field. One of the all-time greats at his position. On third and ten, Allen's pass is picked off by Bobby Wagner. What a play by Bobby Wagner. Watch this, watch this reaction. Bobby Wagner's over here on your screen, and Kyle Allen's got to think that his tight end is open here. I'm sorry, his, Chris Hogan is open here, but he wanted it more. Ready? Second down and eight off the fake to McCaffrey. Allen's pass tipped and picked off. It is intercepted by K.J. Wright. It is. Thank you, says K.J. Wright. Another takeaway for Seattle. Ford with the assist. The sideline play by Trey Boston for that interception. Second down and five off the fake to McCaffrey. Allen's pass picked off. He was under pressure, and it's K.J. Wright with his second interception on consecutive possessions. This is a terrible decision by Kyle Allen. Sometimes you just have to give up on a play and do not put the ball in harm's way. Did not even look like you said, Kenny. And K.J. Wright is saying thank you very much. First one off the tip. This one off an errant throw. And Seattle's in business at the